So, hi everyone. Uh, Marius, thanks for the introduction. As uh, mm, for my part here, I will be talking just briefly about uh, TROS campaigns. Then I will tell you how to prepare and what's the most important to remember when you are switching to TROS. Uh, then I will show you our case studies and uh, finally I will uh, wrap it all together with some uh, main benefits that we saw when switching to new bidding strategy. So uh, what is target ROAS bidding? As uh, Marius already said, uh, it is a target return on net spend. So it's an automated bid strategy that uh, uses auction time bidding. Uh, and that basically means that Google uh, will optimize for conversion value in every auction that you enter. After that, Google will set maximum cost per click bids in order to achieve an average return on a spend uh, that you have specified. Uh, so if uh, you want to uh, move your campaigns to the next level and to focus solely on positive return on investment, uh, you may want to consider this uh, bidding strategy. Uh, so now, how to prepare? Uh, first of all, uh, for app campaigns, you need to have Firebase SDK on your app. Uh, then I underline this because uh, it is the most important one, in my opinion, uh, to create a reliable revenue event with your development team. Uh, so make sure that uh, revenue event is as accurate as possible uh, to prevent overvaluing or uh, undervaluing users. Uh, then set the right conversion window according uh, to your metrics. Uh, keep in mind here that um, the longer the conversion window, the more time the system uh, will need to learn. And the last, uh, review your budget settings uh, to enable the system uh, to learn faster. So uh, what else uh, is important to remember is in our own examples, we uh, usually start with uh, lower target ROAS and then after a week or two, we start uh, optimizing. Uh, and of course, uh, the more users, uh, the better. The system will learn faster once it has enough users. And the last, uh, when you're looking at overall performance of TROS set campaigns, uh, it's important to take a longer period uh, into consideration because, for example, if you set uh, your ROAS at uh, 100%, you will see that one day you will be getting uh, the ROAS uh, at about 80%. Uh, the second day it will be at uh, 120%. Uh, the same goes uh, for budget. One day your campaign will not spend on the whole daily budget. The second day it will spend uh, twice as much. So uh, when you optimize, try to, try to look at uh, on a monthly basis. And uh, now, uh, before we move to our uh, case studies, uh, I'd like to tell you that we start uh, TROAS campaigns uh, a year ago. So it wasn't just an easy decision to us to just switch to a new bidding strategy, uh, but um, we decided to give it a try. And after uh, seeing first uh, results, we kind of started breathing and then we were moving uh, faster for uh, other projects. And uh, now uh, we are almost fully uh, TROS oriented for uh, all our projects that are ad monetized. Now let me show you our first case study. So in this example here, we have a better, uh, we have a, a partial cannibalization. Uh, but better profit. So as you can see, the number of organic installs dropped a little bit for 40%, uh, but the number of paid installs grew significantly for 450%. So although there was a particle nimbalization here between organic and paid installs, it's a kind of logical for in this example, but at the end of the day, uh, the total profit was better for uh, 20%. And as you can see in the graph, it's uh, kind of clearly obvious where we started the uh, ROAS campaigns. So the blue line represents cost, the red uh, is uh, installs. Um, so don't freak out here because it's, uh, the cost is uh, very high. Uh, you see that uh, after a week or two, um, the cost along with the ROAS uh, st uh, stabilize, and uh, this is how look uh, T ROAS uh, stable phase. 
what you can also see here is the period before we start uh, TROAS campaigns. So we were uh, satisfied with ROAS, but we uh, we wasn't scaling, and uh, and now we we achieved that. Mm, the second example for today is uh, where we had a higher CPM but uh, better profit. So no cannibalization here, uh, but we had an increase in paid installs for 107%. Also the increase in uh, paid profit for 108%. And uh, finally, uh, the total profit improve uh, for 40%. And what we have here is uh, eCPM change. Um, so uh, CPM was um, uh, higher for 34%. And uh, I guess everyone will say here, of course, your total profit is better because you have a higher CPM. And uh, yes, you are right. But uh, actually, um, that higher CPM is uh, because we acquire a lot of more users from the tier one countries. And actually, they raised the CPM of the entire app. And finally, the total profit was better for 40%. And again, in the graph, you can clearly see again where we started t -ROS campaigns and how uh, now the t -ROS, uh, stable phase look like. And now the last example is uh, where all metrics improved. So no cannibalization here, uh, no ECPM changes. Uh, we almost doubled paid users. Also organic users increased probably due to the K factor here. And uh, finally, uh, the total profit was better for uh, 70%. And uh, this is our best result since we switched to, uh, to TROAS. And then to conclude my part here uh, with some main benefits that we saw after switching to TROS. First of all, uh, automatic optimization. So we didn't have all those, um, we previously had all those manual bit changes. Uh, now uh, we don't have to do it because the system will do it by itself. Mm, the second point is uh, worldwide covered. So now we are able to target countries we otherwise uh, would not target. Uh, what I mean here is especially uh, tier uh, three countries. And the third, but, but um, the probably the most important one is now that we are uh, scaling, but at the same time uh, we are maintaining uh, the desired draws. Uh, so with that, I would like to conclude my part here. So if you had the uh, second thoughts, uh, I um, hope that now you don't have it anymore. So go for it and uh, give it a try. Thank you.